Hi everybody, it's time for another one of my um, console daisy server modding videos. And in this one, we're going to look at some best practices that you want to really be following before you dive in, some things to be aware of. So we're going to be looking at what you should be editing your code in, considering how you back up your files, a little bit about file structure, um, how to reinstate files if, they, if things go wrong, um, and how to validate those files um, to make sure they're correct before you really um, uh, start digging in and, and restarting things on your server. So first things first, you always want to be doing a, doing your edits in something like Notepad++. So Notepad++ is a very handy um, text editor that's more advanced than just Notepad or Wordpad on your computer, and it's free. And it color codes things. This might be a bit difficult to see, but it color codes stuff on your in your XML files and in your J JSON files, which means that it can be easier to see um, errors when you make them. Um, so use Notepad++. Um, the next thing you want to make sure you've got is that you have a copy of the vanilla files that um, are appropriate to um, the era of Daisy you're working on. Like the, the, that sounds a bit odd, that, doesn't it? So for example, in Daisy, we're currently running the 1.15 uh, update to Daisy. So I always like to make sure I've got a copy of the vanilla 1.15. So again, if things go wrong, I can I can um, use these on my server. I can re-upload these to my server. Um, I'll put links to all this stuff in the description below the video. Um, and you should also be aware of this setting to reset your server uh, server's XML. So in the general settings, you know, near the bottom, you'll have the, where is it? If I can find it, reset mission XML to default. So if things go wrong, maybe you can tick that, you can save, restart, untick it, save, and that will make sure, t turn all of the XML files on your server back to default. So what you want to be doing is on your computer, you kind of want to have kind of a directory, kind of a little bit like this. So this is, so here we've got my Daisy modding folder here. And in here, we've got 115 vanilla. So these are the files I've downloaded from Bohemia Interactive and 115 Chernera Stealth Hunting, Fishing and Farming. So they're the, they're the modded XML and JSON files I've got. In order to get the vanilla files, again, visit Bohemia Interactive GitHub, click on the code button, and then you want to click on download the zip and you want to download that um, and that way you've got access to the vanilla files should you need them so if we go into here we can see daisy central economy uh, churnerus plus and they say we go into db for example and i could open up the types file edit with notepad plus plus and then i've got a vanilla types file now we would never edit that particular vanilla types file but we've got access to it um, also, when you download your XMLs um, from your uh, server, so let's say, for example, we go into our file browser, like so, and we go into the missions folder, and then we go into Chernerus Plus. And let's say we want to work on the types folder, types file. So there's the types one. Say we download that. Okay, so we've downloaded that. If we look where it is, it'd be in our downloads folder. We don't want to work on that file, we want to copy that out, go back to our daisy modding, and then you go 115 mods, say let's call it that. And we will paste that in there, and then we would edit that version. So that way, the version that's still in our downloads, that's kind of a backup of what we've got. So we've got that back up there, which we've downloaded from our server. We've got the file that we're actually going to be working on in our 115 mods folder. And we've also got our vanilla version of the types folder that we can get to that's there. So we've got all these backups in place because I guarantee when you're working on your XMLs, what's going to happen is you are going to have some errors. It will just happen. You can't help it. We're humans. You'll make a spelling error and it will do things that will break your server. Now, probably the most important thing that you can have um, when it comes to modding is a plan. So what you've got here is this is a readme. Um, with all of my pre-made XML packs that I upload to my GitHub, um, 
I always have a plan and the top of it is just the description kind of of what the XMLs do and a little bit of um, warnings about you know what happens what could go wrong if you use these files but then underneath it's a it's a to-do list so here we go so item spawn in pristine done Spooky Devil's Castle, Forest Fire near Middle Edge, Smoke from Plane Crash in Chernogorsk, Witches Night Events, Loads of Trucks, Trader Shop at Novi, Gas Event, Trader Truck, Cars Complete with Gassy. It's just that it's a big to-do list. And so before you start modding, open up a fresh text file in Notepad++ and just do a list of the things that you, you, you think you want to do. And then as you've done them, tick them off and you know say done or put a you know an x next to them or something like that um and that way you'll be able to ha you have a finish line against what you're doing and it also gives you a checklist as well so when you when you're done and you're finished and you're testing the mods on your server you can you know tick each thing off you know have i found more bears have i found more zombies have i found less zombies have i found vehicles with bits on them and, and I think that is very, very important. Always have a plan. So you know what you're going to do. Um, you know when you're finished. And then you know what to check when you're up there on your server doing stuff like that. So let's just look at an example now of of uh, checking our XMLs and our JSONs after we've edited them. So let's say so we've downloaded stuff. There's a couple of, file, a couple of websites we can use. There's xmlvalidation.com which we'll use to validate our XML files, which is the majority of the ones we'll be working on. And there's JSON format and validator. Again, I'll put links to these in the description below the video. And let's say, you know, say, say this types XML that we've been working on. Let's shut that one down. Um, we've been working on it. We've done some adjusting, and then we want to upload it to our server. The first thing we should always do before we upload it to our server is we want to check to see whether it's okay or not. So what we would then do is we would go to xmlvalidation.com. You scroll down. See, it says choose file. So you would choose the file. We go to 115 mods, go to types, open it up, validate. No errors were found. Now, this doesn't guarantee that there's no errors in the, in the file because there could be things that you've done wrong that although they're not XML errors, they could break the game. So, for example, let's say in the types file, you you'd, you'd put down to spawn in 500 M4 rifles. Well, that's probably going to break the loot economy. And so although there won't be an XML error, there will be an error in terms of that. So just, just watch out for that. But validating your XMLs or your JSONs is a very, very good way of catching the simple mistakes that people can make. Now, a really important thing to watch out for are false positive in the XMLs as well. And you can actually clean up Bohemian Tractor's files so that you can remove these false positives. Now, I'll, I'll show you the most common one that you get. Now, when you're an XML validator, you just click on there, click on XML validator, to kind of go back to the beginning. So if we choose file, okay, and then we go to 115 vanilla file. So these are the files from Bohemia Interactive. And then we go into Chernerus and we look at the CFG spawnable type, so config spawnable type. So this is the file that says um, uh, with a vehicle, what should spawn on that vehicle? So should it have a chance of spawning with wheels? Should it have a, sponsor, a chance of spawning with a boot on it? Or with a gun? You know, what mags should it spawn, when it spawn in with? What scope should it have a chance of spawning in with? Zombies, you know, what should they have a chance of spawning in with? So it's a, it's a really important file. But if you validate the XML, you get errors. So here we can see an error. So error on line 875. Uh, the string dash dash is not permitted within comments. So if we click on the little red X, we can jump down and we can see there's the error. Now within X, there it is there. So within XML, um, you can put comments in and the comments basically mean that um, the game shouldn't read the code within these comments. And the, the, the uh, syntax that Beamy Interactive use for these uh, comments is wrong. It shouldn't be like this. So the, so a comment should look like that. So you've got uh, left angle bracket, exclamation mark, dash, dash, start of zombies, dash, dash, right uh, angle bracket. It should look like that. But if we look down here at this NBC one, you've actually got um, left bracket, exclamation mark, dash, dash, space, a million dashes, NBC, a million dashes, space, dash, dash, um, 
right angle bracket. Now, the problem with this is that that error now hides the errors below it because XML validator just goes, well, that's wrong and stops. So this is my little hint and tip for you in this particular video as well. If you're working on uh, CFG spawnable types or any of the um, files that include this kind of incorrect format of um, uh, comments, what you want to do, if we, if we copy that and we go into our modding file, we paste it in there and then we open that up within Notepad++. And if we do a control F to find, and then if we look for that, copy, paste, and find all in current document. We can for find all of these errors like this. And what we can do is we can just go through and we can remove the errors. Now, if you're a bit more... Um, familiar with uh, ed editing in Notepad++ or other uh, text editors is you could use find and replace to do this a little bit quicker. But simply by going through that and cleaning up Bohemia Interactive's comments so they're proper, <laughs> so <laughs> with not all the extra dashes in, when you then validate the CFG spawnable types, you'll be able to see the error that you've made. Now, the most common errors that you will make will be to do with spelling or syntax more accurately. So you, you'll be editing something like this zombie bit and you'll miss out a bracket like that. Um, you'll overwrite it, you know, you'll be copying and pasting and you'll copy and paste something slightly wrong. And these are all the things that the XML validator, if you clean up the files, will pick up and you'll see them straight away and you go, oh, that's what I've done. And you can then go back through and change them. Also, this is a good example of where you can see Notepad++ with all the different colors. It really helps you to see errors. So if, for example, I was to miss off the um, the ends of this remarks, see everything goes green? And I should be then again, oh, wait a minute, these aren't remarks, this is proper code. So let's put those remarks back in. And so straight away, you, you can kind of spot the mistake um, that has occurred. So these are the kind of core best practices you should have when, when you're doing your, your modding. Um, when you come to upload your files after you've um, been messing around with them make sure you stop the server upload them and then restart it and that's good but always remember keep um, a copy of the vanilla bohemian interactive daisy files for your particular version of daisy that we're running on so 115 at the moment it'll be 116 in a few weeks time have the links ready to go for your the xml validator and the json uh, format and val validator basically the majority of files we work on are the dot xml ones but you'll see there's some dot json ones as well use notepad plus plus because it enables you to see the errors a lot faster and it's a really powerful text editor as it is anyway make sure you've got a logical file structure on your PC so it's clear what which files you're working on where you've got your backups like the 115 vanilla you've got your 115 modding and when you do download files don't work on the files you've downloaded them keep them in your download folder as a backup ready to be re-uploaded um, or reworked on if you completely mess up the other one um, and finally make sure that you have a plan so that when you're doing your modding again you say well okay so I want to add more guns I want to add more magazines, I want to add less zombies, that sort of thing. So again, you know what you've got to do, what your finish point is, and what you should be checking when you get back on your server. Okay, so there we go. Hopefully you find that useful. Don't worry, we will, we will be diving into some proper XML modding fairly soon on these videos, so you can start to change things. But I wanted to get all these basic videos down with all these best practice and all these guides so that you start off on the right foot and you have some really good um, habits that you, you get yourself into that will save you so much time in the long term. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hopefully you found that video useful. If you have it, like, if you want to see more, the same, press subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.